Hi, I'm Jesse Troxler. I'm a biologist with TBA. Uh, this is Maria Aguirre. She's also a biologist with TBA, and we're going to talk about uh, something in the TBA region that's going to happen this spring. Uh, you may have met the parents of uh, some teenagers that are going to show up in your yard this summer, um, but it's been 13 years since we've seen them in this area, so uh, we're talking about the emergence of periodical cicadas. We brought me around today to talk about the lives of these insects that have been living in the soil since 2011. If you live in these areas in the southeast or the midwest, you may experience the great southern brood of 13-year cicadas or the northern Illinois brood of 17-year cicadas this spring. So Jesse, we have some questions about cicadas. Why do they live underground for so long? And the reason that they stay underground for so long is it makes it difficult for predators to synchronize their life cycles. So 13 and 17 are both uh, prime numbers. And why are there so many of them? So by coming up all at the same time, they practice something called predator satiation. So by uh, millions and billions of them appearing in the same area at the same time, they can uh, overwhelm the, the predators and, and they can't all be eaten. So some of them will survive to reproduce and lay eggs. And what do they do underground for 13 years? So they actually go through uh, five stages uh, called instars, and they'll bolt their skin in between each instar. Uh, but the, during this time, they're digging tunnels, and they'll actually attach themselves to tree roots. They have a, something called a beak that looks like this, and they'll suck the, the fluids out of the tree roots. How do the cicadas keep track of time? So the uh, theory is that as they, they drink the fluids from the trees, they can tell the difference in the, as the seasons change. They can tell uh, one year from the next as the, the winter comes and the, the liquid stops moving up and down the tree. Mm -hmm. They can track it that way. And then in their, uh, their 13th or their 17th year, uh, they get ready to emerge. And as the weather starts to warm up and the soil reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when they all know to, to come to the surface. What do they do after they emerge? So uh, you're going to tune in with Maria here in a couple of weeks, and uh, she's going to be live with <laughs> some live cicadas in Middle Tennessee. And uh, we'll talk all about the, the emergence of the adult cicadas. And lastly, where can we see these cicadas this year? So if you would like to uh, see live cicadas this, this uh, spring, you can go to the uh, Cicada Safari app. It'll show you where, uh, where they're coming up, and you can actually help to track the emergence of the cicadas. It's uh, cicadasafari.org.